welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Erica and welcome to a little fall home vlog. So in this vlog, we're gonna be doing some fall things and mostly fall crafts. So right now it's Friday and I have some plans to do fall things this weekend, including making a fall sweatshirt and painting pumpkins. So let's start, let's talk about the sweatshirt first. So the sweatshirt, I've been wanting to have like a fall Halloween sweatshirt forever now. And I just got this idea the other day to make one instead of buy one. Now here's the thing though, I am not the most crafty person. I'm very creative and I'm really good at like computer crafts, if you will, computer crafts, um, like making graphics or social media posts, videos, things like that. Like I'm really good at that. But when it comes to like handmade crafts, drawing, drawing, forget about it. I am just like not that gifted in that department, but I still like to craft sometimes and, and make stuff. Um, but I need to know my limits because I'm not, I'm not that good. So I had this idea of a sweatshirt that is like, hopefully I can't mess up. And that is like, I think I just want to get like an orange or like green, like forest green sweatshirt and then get iron on patches like cute like pumpkins or something and just iron on the patch and I really don't think I could mess that up <laughs> so um, I'm gonna attempt to make that in this vlog and you're gonna come with me as, as we do this and then the second craft is painting pumpkins so I know everyone right like loves to carve pumpkins that's what we grew up doing carving pumpkins but last year I saw like on Pinterest um, like people painting pumpkins and I thought hey that sounds like a really cool idea so one night Josh and I painted our pumpkins and we had so much fun with it. And it's like way easier to do than carving and you can be way more creative with that. I'll put a little picture of our pumpkins from last year. And so this weekend I really wanna paint pumpkins again because what, when is, what, what, when is it? It's October 11th. So like Halloween is gonna be here before we know it. So I wanna get our pumpkins out and on display at our house. And yeah, so in this vlog, it's not, we're gonna film it like, I'll film it over a couple days. So right now it's Friday and um, I think we'll paint pumpkins maybe tomorrow night or Sunday night. But today I am gonna go to Michael's and get the sweatshirt and look for some patches. So that's what's on our agenda right now. And yeah, I'm really excited to take you guys along. Um, I'm in the fall mood, I got my little flannel on. I have a little chai tea latte with pumpkin foam in a very summery cup, but you know, it tastes like fall. <laughs> So yeah, I'm super, super stoked. Um, but enough chit chat. Let's go to Michael's. I think I'm gonna start at Michael's and Hobby Lobby second. And I wanna find the patches and the sweatshirt. So let's go. Okay, Michael's had some slim pickings for sweatshirts and patches, like literally no Halloween patches. I circled that store so many times. Um, I kind of like like that off-white sandstone color sweatshirt, but I'm also like, mm, maybe like an orange or green. So, okay, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby because that's just not too far away and then check out that. But fingers crossed that they have what I'm looking for, even though who knows what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something, you know? <laughs> What a big fat fail that was. Oh my gosh. I thought I found those patches and they were those pumpkin ones, but those were only stickers. And then barely any good sweatshirts, like they had red and gray and black. And I was like, Ugh. like I don't know, that doesn't feel very fall-like to me. And I don't know if I had showed you guys like my inspo idea. So like this was my inspirational idea, basically. Like that's all I wanted, just a sweatshirt with like little pumpkins on it or like doing like a couple patches in a row. But that was, I couldn't find anything, not even the sweatshirt or the patches. So we're going to go to Amazon <laughs> and see. So first of all, I was looking at Amazon in the store. I found a sweatshirt um, 
that's like nine dollars which is kind of funny because i think josh has the same sweatshirt so we'll be twins but mine will be halloween themed um like i kind of like this green and then i was looking for patches i found these like these are all different pumpkins and i thought that would be cute so i think we're gonna have to go the lame route and go through amazon because like i just literally couldn't find anything and I kept looking around, I kept looking around, and I'm pretty bummed because I wanted to make this tonight, but looks like I'm gonna have to wait two days, <laughs> um, or I hope those are on Prime, to make this sweatshirt. And now I'm like, is it even worth it <laughs> at this point? Like, I feel like I'm trying so hard, and it, I thought it would be easy, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home, get some dinner, and I like the sweatshirt and then I'm gonna look and see if there's like any other different patches like maybe cute ghosts would be cute and I like the idea of having like three or four in a row so I think we're just gonna have to order them online but Hobby Lobby wasn't a total fail at least I did get this little welcome sign for our door because I don't have a fall wreath so I, I was at for, I was first looking at their wreaths but I didn't like any of them and then I saw this sign and it was 40% off so it was seven dollars and I'm like yeah at least I can come home with something. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go home. I think I'm gonna pick up sushi for us. And yeah, so today was just a flop with the crafting, but we're definitely gonna be painting pumpkins this weekend. So hang, hang tight for that. But um, yeah, let's go home and order this online and get some food. All right, here is the Halloween sweatshirt update. So I've been looking on my phone at Amazon as we've been having dinner. So I found these patches, which I thought were super cute. And then again, like that sweatshirt. But then I was, as I was searching, I found this sweatshirt that's like a little Halloween university. And I love the back. And I think this is literally like the vibe I want. And it's $14.99. So honestly, that would be more economical if I just got that sweatshirt instead of doing like the sweatshirt with either the pumpkin patches or like these Halloween patches. So I guess we won't be crafting a sweatshirt like I thought. I'm really bummed because I was really hoping that I had would have found something at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but I don't know, maybe they were just all sold out or maybe they just didn't even have them. I don't know. So... Unfortunately, I don't, yeah, we're not going to be crafting that. I think I'm just going to get this sweatshirt because it's a good deal and it's literally checking the box that I wanted, which was a cute Halloween sweatshirt. So, sorry about that is what it is, but we're still going to be painting pumpkins. Um, that'll either be tomorrow or Sunday. I don't know. We'll have to see like what the day brings, but yeah, don't worry. The crafting is not over yet and... Maybe I'll have to squeeze like a different fall activity into this vlog instead. So we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and watch some TV and hang out and chill. And I will see you guys tomorrow for pumpkin painting. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday. Yesterday we took a little day trip to Holland, Michigan and did a hike and went to the lake and had lunch and everything. Um, so we didn't do any really like fall crafting activities. We did stop by a pumpkin patch to pick up cider donuts, which we'll be having tonight because tonight we're painting pumpkins. We're kind of having this like on and off rainy day. So we thought like today would be perfect to paint the pumpkins. But, um, guess what just arrived in the mail? Guys, the sweatshirt I ordered, and it is like super, super vacuum packed, but let's open it up, try it on. I hope it's like a good size because online it said that it runs small and I wanted it to be like an oversized fit, so I ordered a large, so uh, fingers crossed. Let's see how it fits. All right, first up, Man, that is like was really vacuum sealed. Let's get a closer look at the design. It's pretty like it's not like the best material. The sweatshirt is kind of thinner. Um, I mean, it was only 15 bucks, so I wasn't like expecting a whole lot. But yeah, it's cute. I mean, I'm only gonna wear it like in October. I'm a little. I can't believe this is a large. Like, that's crazy. Okay, let's let's try it on. 
Okay, I think I like it. I really can't believe how small it runs though because like usually larges are pretty big on me and this feels like a medium fit. But I think I'm gonna go look in the mirror because like seeing it on my tiny camera, I don't know, I can't decide. Let's go upstairs and look at it in the mirror. All right, now I can get a better look of it. Hmm. I don't know, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking I maybe should have gotten a medium. Hmm, oh my gosh, I'm so indecisive, I can't decide if I really, really like it or not. I mean, I wonder if it's like 100% cotton and then that way I'll know it'll shrink. Cause if it's just like a teeny bit smaller, I feel like that's exactly what I want. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> uh. I think I just need to like, I don't know, wear it around, see how I feel, but I mean, it's a sweatshirt, it's like not that big a deal, but I'm a big overthinker and I feel like I'm just really overthinking it, but I don't know, I feel like if it just shrinks a little bit in the wash, it'll be perfect, and like the bottom part, I don't know. If you want to help me decide, let me know. Do you think I should keep or get rid of it? I'll have this sweatshirt linked down below in case anyone's interested. I mean, for a $15 sweatshirt, it's it's checking a lot of the boxes. I'm just deciding if I really, really like it or if I wish I'd gone a different size. So yeah, but that's a sweatshirt. Um, yeah, cause we didn't get to craft one. And now what I think we're going to do is get ready to paint the pumpkins. So I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we got pumpkins yesterday when we were driving around in Holland. We um, were kind of in like the back neighborhoods or back country roads and we drove by like a little farm. Had some pumpkins sitting out and they were three, $3, $2, at most $6 pumpkins, which is like, I feel like a steal. So we stopped and grabbed two pumpkins there. So we have our pumpkins and I'm gonna go down in the basement and get our little paint box and get our table set up so we can start painting our pumpkin. Here is my little craft box where I keep anything crafting wise and this sucker really filled up after the wedding. Like these are all little jewels um, I used to do my wedding shoes which were like Nike tennis shoes and then I added little crystals. Oh yeah, here's some acrylic. We have the glue I use for the shoes what are these called you know to cut like our programs up like this this basket really filled up so but there's a lot of paint in here too so that's what we need to find and i also need this the what is this called um hot glue gun oh my gosh i'm having the biggest brain fart a hot glue gun because one of the pumpkins uh unfortunately had an accident and its stem broke off but i still really want the stem so i'm gonna hot glue the stem back on but yeah, let's get all the paint out and like prep the table for painting. The setup is now complete. I also changed my shirt because knowing wearing long sleeve and white, I was probably gonna get paint on it. But here is our little pumpkin paint party. We got Donuts at well, no, not apple cider donuts. These are pumpkin donuts, which are really good apple cider We got our pumpkins. We got our paint. We got a fall candle lit uh, Am I missing anything? Oh, I even found some googly eyes that might be fun to put on the pumpkins But I do know I do know one more thing this party needs Hold on three two one <laughs> Now, I do have to decide what I'm gonna paint on my pumpkin. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna go for like a little theme. Like, I'm gonna have, maybe I'm gonna say, have it say boo, and then I'm gonna do like little bats and like little ghosts and moons. Like, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Do you have any idea what you're painting? I think I might do a Michigan State head. Oh, he's going, he's going, um... I'm gonna see how difficult that is. <laughs> I, I know I can't handle that. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm crafty, but I'm not that crafty. So I think doing something simple for me will be best. I like, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll, we'll see. 
Aw, and here's Max. He's so sad that it's raining. You just want to go out there, don't you? He's just, I know, I know. You're just patiently waiting by the door, but we're having a pumpkin party, Max. You can join the pumpkin party. So I was just looking over at Josh's Spartan head, and that's a little inspo, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, that looks so good, but what did you say? Kind of looks like Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. But like reverse, because his hair is orange, yeah. and now it's white. But I think it's coming along well. Mm -hmm. And then I just have Boo right now, and then these are going to be ghosts, and then I think I'm going to do like a purple, purple stars, and... I don't know, I can't, I wanna do like a couple different things, but this is what I have so far. I've run into my first problem with painting, and that is I decided to do little cats, but now I think I made them too small and it's really hard to do the whiskers. But I'm wondering if I do the whiskers like, not on the head, but just like on the side, if that'll look good. Like, I looked up this idea, so we're gonna give it a go, but Dang, I'm a little disappointed with myself that I didn't make them a little bit bigger. I mean, I guess I could still make them bigger, but I don't know. I don't know if I have the talent to do the whiskers. I think this is just what it needs to be because I tried it like so many different ways doing the whiskers on the outside, trying to do the whiskers on the inside. And so I think the cats just are going to have to look like that. And yeah, they're going to be whiskerless cats. Very, very scary stuff. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, our finished painted pumpkins. Let's take a look. This is Josh's, and I think it is so good. He did such a good job on the Spartan head. And here's mine, the little boo with the little ghosts and scary whiskerless cats and little purple purple stars. I think that's cute. I, I seriously, you're so good. Like... <laughs> Like, I don't, you always outcraft me. I don't, you're, I, I would have totally butchered that. It's so good, but I had a lot of fun doing that. I seriously, seriously like painting pumpkins way more than carving. Do you agree? You can be honest. Do you not agree? I don't know. I grew up carving them. So now so you want to carve one. It's a little nostalgic for me. Yeah. But I do agree. It's very messy. But that, come here. This is the artiste. Yeah, see? The Spartan head. He's really good. Um, so we're going to let these dry overnight and then put them out on our porch. Definitely we don't want to put them out there now since it's raining. But yeah, that was our little home vlog fall crafting video. I'm sorry we only did one craft because I was really hoping to do two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments if you plan to paint pumpkins this Halloween or if now you're going to paint them after you're, after seeing our little crafting day. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and like I mentioned earlier, yesterday we went to Holland, so that'll be a whole separate vlog. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!